they they were po- when you read this they were posting the dates and times of lynchings in order to help the society gather to commit the lynchings to commit tortures and to you know torture people and then the reporters would then be on site and documenting it in precisely this way they would document in detail and then they hung him to the thing and then they attached him to the train and the train and he's tra- and one leg came off and da, da 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 and and then you could hear the screams of the young boy it was like it was written the way a fiction novel would be written and sometimes it'd be written like the way a sports story would be written about like a back and forth between two teams it was entertainment for an audience right they were before there was no TVs and shit like that. And it was it was entertainment for a bloodthirsty audience. And they did that for decades, centuries. <laughs> it's it's just important to realize that the news in a in a free society is a reflection of the society. Just as people are trying to find news for themselves, they're trying to understand the world to a degree. Right. The news, these organizations are trying to find audiences. And so they're feeding each other. And that's a crazy thing to realize how connected that is. We go, wow, well, well, where's the real news? The real news, the, the idea, the concept of real news is, is a difficult one. It is the news is what I'm interested in. You know, there are things that I'm, I, I'm interested in news from my mom. You know, I'm interested in news about psychology i'm interested in news about 3d animation you might not be interested in that news i'm also interested in news about labor i have my specific set of news you know that i'm that i'm interested in the newspapers in the 1920s were giving their audience what they wanted which was violent anti-human anti-black violence sensationalism and a tone and someone who would write about it with the tone of like this is you know that's a crazy horrible thing but that's that's the connectivity of it it's telling you who you are you know what i'm saying unless the population starts to want something more than that the population has to be constantly asking itself you know why am i watching this is this to be entertained is this good for me is this true is this helpful Am I learning? Um, but to me, even that, the news is, is connected that way. It's not like, I don't, I don't look for news about Australia too often. But some people do, people in Australia primarily, right? Like, and it makes sense, it's, 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 it's more relevant to them. But the news, to me, is an example of this connectivity, especially in a free market kind of thing where the news is giving you back what you're asking of it and what you've demonstrated your values are. And especially back then when they had, um, we're talking about, you know, just a few hundred, let's say newspapers um, who are trying to profit, you know, who are not trying to teach you, who don't, it's not some just objective effort to share what's going on in the world. It's they want your attention. And if they want your attention, they will say and do anything for that attention. Um, and we're experiencing that now. It's not, you know, it's actually, a, this is a huge black eye and a shame. And I think we need to just come to terms with this. And I think that the, the industry needs to come to terms with this so that we can be honest about what's going on. Um, because I think that that's key. Um, We're all connected. And for example, even in those times, there were anti-slavery newspapers. There were several anti-slavery newspapers. And those would get run down and people, editors of those papers would get assaulted and even killed, you know? Um, the society didn't want a news that would validate the humanity of this set of people for all kinds of reasons, from an irrational fear and anger about you know skin color all kinds of weird other nonsense 
and just benefit and privilege, you know? Um, so when you look at those that era, right, there's, there's mainstream papers publishing the worst stuff, encouraging the worst elements. The mainstream papers with the, with the professionals, encouraging the worst elements of society to do terrible things. Where you see the best news at that time, the best, like, the news that, that where there is no black eye, where there is no shame, it's, it's the news that evolved from the, from the struggle. It's, it's, it's the conversations that evolve from difficulty because there's a primacy, I think, in, in those conversations.